hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Jill with Go English Coach. Today we're going to look at some sentence conversion. So we'll be taking a present, a set of present tense verbs and then changing them into the past tense. So we'll really get some like technical, a, take a technical look at how to create past tense sentences and start to get really, really comfortable with using the past tense. I think it's very clear when we use past tense. So that's great. And then the, be the the hardest part about using the simple past tense is just those irregular verbs. So um, I've got a list of about 30 sentences that are um, that include the most common verbs in English. So we'll be giving you guys a, a very full kind of um, amount of information. Specifically, if you can master those, you know, 30 verbs, you can get through probably 80%, 90% of everyday English conversations. So, so let's take each of these sentences and change them into a past tense sentence. Okay. If you'd like to do this on your own, go ahead and pause the video and let's get started. So I am Five feet tall, if I say this in the past tense, we're gonna say, I was five feet tall, okay? She has two dogs, she had two dogs. Every day he does yard work. We're gonna do, push, put this in the past tense. We're gonna say, every day he did yard work. This makes it sound like this person doesn't, isn't, he, so this person, doesn't do yard work anymore every day, okay? I know that man from work. I knew that man from work. We think it's ready. We thought it was ready. Okay, so, oops, I spelled that incorrectly. Uh, what happened here, so if we expand this, to include it, we think it is ready instead of it's. Then we have two verbs, right, that we have to um, change. So we have to change we thought and it was. Okay, so those are two forms of the verb, two verbs there. Okay. Um, and you can leave this as it's or it is. Either way is fine. Okay, let's keep going. He goes to church on Sundays. He, sorry, went to church on Sundays. Okay, the baby gets two bottles in the morning. The baby got two bottles in the morning. So you might be saying this in the afternoon now, right? Okay, um, every night I say you, I love you to my sons. Uh, every... Night, I said, I love you to my sons, okay? Um, the company wants to develop a new marketing plan. The company wanted to develop a new marketing. Come on, just autocorrect. <laughs> okay, so now here we have a question. Can you see the difference? Let's change the question to a past tense question. Could you see the difference? Okay, still a question. Okay, what does it mean? Here's another question. What, where's the verb? So we have to change the auxiliary, right? So we've got two, we have two verbs here. We have, this is the main verb, go over here. Mean is the main verb, okay? What does it mean? We've got, because it's a question, we have we have to use the do or does. Okay, so let's do the whole thing. We have to change the whole thing. What did it mean? We do not change the word mean. We change just this, okay? So. You can see what's happening here. Okay, let's keep going. The landlord lets us rent the home. The landlord let, in the past, let us rent the home. In the morning, I make my bed. In the morning, I made my bed, 
Okay, that happened one time. This is a, here it's saying, it's something I do every day. This is saying this morning or yesterday morning, right? In the morning, I made my bed. You're talking about something one time in the past, okay? Gotcha, okay. Okay, so Friday comes at the end of the week. Friday came at the end of the week, obviously. Um, the plane takes off at 12.15 tomorrow. Now, what is interesting about this sentence? Is this something in the present tense or is this something in the future? Okay, so there are some instances where you can use um, the present tense to discuss future events. Okay, we're going to look at that when we start doing future tense in the classes next week. Okay, so let's just kind of practice here. You could say the plane will take off at 1215 tomorrow, but many times when we are talking about schedules specifically, like if you're talking about a class tomorrow, what time does class start? Class starts at 8 p.m. and you can all you can say tomorrow. So with schedules, we can often use the present tense form to discuss something in the future, okay? The plane takes off at 12.15 tomorrow. Let's talk about in the past. So we're gonna have to change this sentence a little bit more than just, because if I say the plane took off at 12 p.m. tomorrow, that doesn't make sense, right? Because you have something in the past and then you have something in the future. So your sentences have to generally agree. Um, the plane took off at 12.15, let's put another time thing in there, yesterday, okay? Um, my friend looks ill, my friend looked ill, okay? He thanks the doctor every time he leaves the office. He thanks the doctor every time he leaves the office. Um, let's see, he thanked, oh my gosh, the doctor, Every time he, so we have two verbs here, right? So we've got this one, thanks, and leaves. So we've got to change both of those, you guys. He thanked the doctor every time he left the office. That's a perfect past tense sentence, okay? Everyone tells me that I look like her. Okay, so again, we have two different verbs here that we're both, that both will need to change. Okay. Okay, so everyone told me that I looked like her. Okay, the assistant puts the financial information into the document. The verb is put, okay. The past tense of put is put. <laughs> the assistant put the financial information into the document. Okay. Keep going here. We're almost done. More than half of the way done. Marco likes to play with the cat. Marco liked to play with the cat. Okay. My cousin talks on the phone nonstop. My cousin talked on the phone nonstop. What does that mean? All the time. Oh, gosh, look at that. Information. Okay. My father-in-law. So who is my father-in-law? What is a father-in-law? Father-in-law is, for me, I'm married. It's my husband's father, okay? Father-in-law means he's, it's my husband's father, okay? Or um, you can have a brother-in-law, a sister-in-law, and a mother-in-law, okay? Um, so a sister-in-law to me would be my brother's wife. So because they are married, she becomes my sister-in-law. Uh, my brother-in-law is married to my sister, okay? Okay, um, so 
my father-in-law what does it say needs a new car needed a new car okay some people believe the story some people believed the story okay they give a trophy to the winner they gave a trophy to the winner okay um try uh i try every day to improve my health i tried every day so this implies that i used to try i tried in the past but no longer i i don't try anymore um uh, i tried every day to improve my health Okay, my dad calls me every other week. What does that mean? What does every other week mean to you? So it means one week, yes, one week, no. One week, yes, one week, no. Every other week, okay? Um, some people also say bi-weekly, but most people will say every other week. It's just a little bit more casual. Okay, my dad calls me every other week. My dad called me every other week. The dogs always find their bone. The dogs always, past tense of find, is found their bone. I'm gonna say bones. It should probably be the dogs always find their bones because it's plural. Um, it's not necessary. You could say there is only one bone, but, um, okay. So she feels nauseous. She felt nauseous. What does nauseous mean? It means maybe your stomach or your head hurts. You feel like you're going to vomit. Okay. Nauseous is usually about feeling like you're going to vomit or throw up. Um, great. Okay. Two more. It happens every time in the past. It happened every time that customer always asks for more salt that customer asked for more salt okay all right everybody let's see that was a great class okay have a great day